Andrew Chug has collected dozens of ancient eyewitness accounts of the tomb. There are plenty of texts which identify uh, the body of Alexander and his tomb as having been located in Alexandria. Many of these references occur during the first three centuries AD, and then almost all references end. One of the reasons why the textual evidence, the written evidence stops in around about 390, 391 AD is because there was a revolution of spirituality. For thousands of years, the people of Egypt, Greece, and Rome had believed in many gods. Cults to hundreds of deities exist across the known world. But in the fourth century, the Roman emperor Constantine embraces a relatively new cult. Christianity. 300 years after the death of Jesus, we find Constantine, who wants to become Roman emperor. And he adopts the minority cult image of Christianity, the cross, as part of a protective amuletic device on the shields of his army, and puts Christianity on the road as well, to becoming the official state religion sponsored by the supreme emperor, Constantine. Some scholars believe that the rise of Christianity can explain the loss of Alexander's tomb. The great king, even though he has been dead for 600 years, is perceived as a threat to the followers of Christ. In life, he was a great military leader, but in death, he becomes divine. Early Christians were extremely fundamentalist in their views. Everybody should become Christian. Pagans were the absolute enemy. Alexander is a pagan god. Christians are being instructed to close down temples dedicated to pagan gods. But the Christians go a lot further. The real fundamentalist movers and shakers of Christianity in Alexandria at this time went round destroying all kinds of images. Uh, and temple carvings and hieroglyphics and any inscription which had to do with paganism. Archaeological evidence in Alexandria dramatically illustrates the extent Christian fundamentalists went to to stamp out paganism. You see that quite physically in Alexandria because it's in 392 that the local Christians attack one of the most important sanctuaries in the city, the Serapeum, and destroy it to the ground. As you see, there is no more structures, there is no more stones. Everything has disappeared. 